Hello, this is Nick with RetroPixel Digital again. Uh, what I wanted to do is just kind of update you guys with a newer, different version of uh, the last video that we just released today. Uh, so um, there's been there have been some updates here with uh, Epic, sorry, the uh, Facewear tech stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a quicker, simpler way to get everything done. Um, it, this is going to be in a vanilla scene, which is going to be a little bit different, but uh, through the last video that we just released today actually uh, shows you how to uh, to place that uh, your MetaHuman creator character into the MetaHuman sample project. So this is just going to show you a quicker way to do it. It won't be in the sample project, but it'll be in a vanilla scene, so it'll be a lot easier, uh, a fewer steps. Um, so let's... Uh, Let's get started with that. So first of all, the instructions are going to be on the facewearetech.com website. So you just click on uh, go to that website and then click on start animating. These instructions are all right here, um, which is neat. But uh, what you want is to go to the requirements section and you want to download the Facewear Glass Box MediHuman Blueprint, Blueprint Motion Logic. So this is a different file. This is a newer one. Um, if you click and download that, that's going to give you uh, what you're going to need to do. Um, I'll show you that as well. Uh, and then also you're going to want the client, uh, the live client plugin from Glassbox. That'll connect you from Unreal Engine, uh, or sorry, from uh, Facewear to Unreal Engine directly through. Um, the meta human sample scene here, that's one that we did in the last one. Uh, we're going to skip that. We're going we're to do it with the vanilla scene here. So it looks good. So, and then other than that, uh, that should be good to go. You can download the sample facial performance if you'd like, uh, if you don't want to be using your own face or if you don't have a webcam. Um, but that's, uh, that's an option there as well. So here are the instructions. Let's just skip that because I'm going to be, can, I'm going to be talking about it. Uh, first thing that we want to do here, I've got Quixel bridge open. Um, I'm just going to keep that open just because it's already open. Uh, and then we're just going to launch a new 4.26, uh, project so that's going to come up and we're just going to create a brand new scene and uh, we'll work from there it'll keep it clean i'll throw in a camera just to make it fancy and everything like that but um, this will be showing you how to do that so um, while that's loading i'm going to open this guy up uh, quixel bridge and i'm going to click on the metahumans thing and uh, i've actually created my own metahuman yesterday so We've got Benjamin here. So we're going to be working with him. Uh, I've already downloaded him, so I'm just ready to export him into the scene. And we'll do that once we're ready. Um, and then uh, I will also get some of these assets uh, set up first. Let's take a look here. So um, I've got the Facewear, sorry, the MetaHuman Motion Logic sample. And I've got the Live Client plugin here as well, as you can see right here. So when we're ready, the first thing I'll do is I'll actually open up the MetaHuman um, Motion Logic sample. This is a zip file that you'll download from that website. And then once that's done, we're going to throw content in there, and we're going to actually li open up the live client as well. And I'll throw, it, I'll show you where to put that. Once it is completed loading. So. Here we go. Now we've got the selector, create new project. We're going to go ahead with a film, television, and live events, new project. Click next. I'm just going to go with a blank one. You can do virtual production. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to create a blank one here. Go next. Uh, I'm going to say no starter content, and I'm going to have ray tracing disabled. You want to enable ray tracing for final render because it just adds a lot. Um, but for, for getting everything ready, it's probably better that you don't. So I'm going to say meta human video because this is a meta human video capitalize that one uh, and then i'll create that project once the project has loaded i'm going to close it because we want to add some plugins here and those things are not going to kick in until um, after it's been reloaded so what i'll really just do here is i'm just going to right click uh, i'm going to find the library or in the library i'm going to find the meta human video i'm going to right click on that and i'm going to go show in folder or not because it kicked me out just be a sec here <laughs> So once it's finished loading, then we'll have to close it because uh, when you create a new folder this way or create a new project this way, it just launches you directly in. So 
um, the best bet is just to kind of give it a minute and then close out. Everything that we do, uh, when we add some of the uh, stuff in here, it's going to require plugins to be enabled and it's going to require another restart. So a couple restarts during this process. Never killed anyone. Um, okay, so we'll just uh, stretch that to the size where you can see it and then I'm just going to close it. Once that does, you know, uh, once that's closed, you're going to see the Epic Games uh, launcher come up by default. Now, um, on the last video, there were uh, instructions on how to um, how to set up a, a trial account and everything. Sorry for you got a six month trial through Faceware and Glassbox. Uh, I would recommend going that. I will, I'm going to put those um, those details in the description of this video as well. Um, just because it's integral that you get that because uh, if you don't have live link or so you don't have the uh, glass box plugin or you don't have um, faceware this isn't gonna work so again uh, description will be in there as well and then we're gonna have a special code that you can use to download and have a free six month indie license um, okay so here we go we got uh, Here's a live client, the zip file. I'm just going to double click on that. So I have the live client folder. That's going to be bringing new into here. We're going to put it in the plugins folder. There are no plugins yet, so there is no folder. So we're going to have to create plugins to go into there. And then we're just going to click and drag the live client directly into there. We're going to go back one level and we're going to go back into here and see this uh, MetaHuman motion logic sample or just click and drag content into here it's going to put it into the existing content folder nothing needs to be overwritten because there's nothing like that in there so you'll see it's in there now okay that is it and that is all and now we can just open up that metahuman video project that we've created And I'm going to get Quixel Bridge ready here because as soon as that's open and launched, uh, I'm going to just export this guy in here. Um, if you haven't created your own, you can just use some of the presets. Uh, and if you, once you've done that, you can click and download them. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so it's ready for export. Uh, so we'll see that in a sec. All right, so we get this uh, live client for Unreal Engine thing here. And uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to open up my file that has that serial number in there. Kind of blocked it so uh, not everybody has my code. And here we are. I've uh, just enabled that. So that'll be the code that you'll get when you do the, uh, the trial version. Um, and while this is open, we're going to click on this guy and we're going to export him in. And then it's going to complain uh, on the bottom right hand corner. You may not see because I'm not recording that, but it's going to talk about a whole bunch of plugins that aren't currently available. So I'm actually going to move my screen over there. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner here. Um, it's going to start screaming at us here for a sec. So um, when we do that, we're going to need to click on these. Enable missing. Enable missing. Enable missing. And it's going to say restart required. So I'm going to hit restart now. Just get it out of the way. And then when that's done, we're going to be able to work. There's a lot of loading in this one. Definitely a lot of loading. Um, now that we're done with Quixel Bridge, we can just go ahead and close that. It's good to have some coffee with you or something. Maybe a puzzle. Maybe a book. I don't know. Something to like do while you're waiting for all this loading. All right, here we go. Uh, let's open that guy. I'm just going to move this back to where it was. About there. And we'll open this guy up. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit fancy here because I like to set up cameras and, and do all that crazy stuff. So what we'll do 
is uh, now that we have in the content, we'll have MetaHumans and Benjamin. This is Benjamin. This is the guy that we have. So uh, because we don't want to mess around with his direct blueprint, we're going to uh, create a, a, a child project or blueprint, sorry. And we're still loading, aren't we? So there's going to be a lot of, there's a lot of assets and a lot of compiling. So once you drop this guy in the scene, you're going to see quite a bit of compiling. That's when you're going to need that book. So create child blueprint class. We're going to right click on that and we're going to do that. We're going to name this Benjamin Facewear. And I'm going to drop him into the scene now so we can start cooking. No, it looks like he's already kind of loaded. Um, well, I'm going to get him a little bit more lighting. So let's just do a 90 degree move. Doesn't get direct. Um, and then, you know what? I'm going to throw in a blueprint here real quick. Uh, just so we have, we don't have to mess around. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just create a cinematic camera. That'll be this guy here. Uh, and then I'm going to drag him into here. Okay, set view. Let's do this here. Context sensitive is off. And um, set view target with blend. That's a really handy thing. We'll take the uh, event tick and hide that. And then we'll connect this guy to here. So event big bean play goes in there. Uh, and then we're going to get the player controller, which that is the that is the starting point so when you hit play you just start with the player controller i'm going to grab that and then i'm going to plug that into the target and then i'm going to set a new target so that when you hit play it connects to the cine camera so that way we uh we have a fixed camera i like these cinematic looks they're just just uh kind of my style now i'm going to pilot that camera and i'm going to choose my benjamin hit f and uh, I'm going to play around with some of these settings. Sorry about all the, the messing around, but I just kind of want it to look pretty here. So we'll just do a deal. Solar. 150. When you have a background, this looks a lot prettier, to be honest with you. And move that into there. And lens settings. And focus settings. Those are gonna be things we need. So I'm just gonna set this guy. Make sure his face is in there. Turn that off. And that should be good. Honestly. We got the depth of field going 150. Yeah, okay, we got everything good. Okay, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and I'll do that. So now when we hit play, we're gonna see just a guy. Um, I might move him in just to get more of that detail in. I know there's not a lot of detail there. Let's just do focus settings manual. I'm just going to do tracking and I will set it to Benjamin. I don't know if that looks really that great. Nope. Sorry guys. Just messing. Uh, we'll just do manually and then I will just do the focus here and I'll just be able to view. There we go. Good enough. And, uh, when you hit play, you're going to see him. This will be a lot better for us to like, kind of look at. Um, I'm going to drop down the, uh, if you're having, actually, if you're having uh, issues with the uh, performance, I would recommend going into settings. And then uh, engine scalability, and then just drop it to like medium for now while we play around. You can get a little bit of nastiness there, but this is good for when you're playing around. So um, the next step, without any further ado here, I'm going to double click on the uh, the blueprint here. Uh, and then we're going to go and do, uh, we're going to add a component, and it's going to be Faceware Live. I'm going to connect that one over there. Uh, this is where we're going to have some options to plug into everything, but the default settings are good enough. If you want to get in crazy, uh, you can go in there, um, change some other stuff like configuration, like address and port number if you're, if you're plugging into a different live session. 
fine, but well, let's just skip that for now. Um, what we'll do is here, we'll go with the uh, the body. Uh, we're going to ch set the animation mode here to use animation blueprint. And then we're going to set that anim class to the FW body, AP, ABP. And we're going to do the same thing to the face. Uh, that's already set up as uh, animation blueprint. We're going to switch that though to the uh, FW one. So once that's done, we'll compile and save. And I believe that we should have a working version here. So I'm going to open up my uh, faceware. Uh, you can see it's it's there. Uh, and then what we'll do is uh, have that running in the background. And then hit play. We got facial movement, everything like that. And uh, even the head rotation is there by default. So um, if we want to get fancy again, because that's what I like to do, uh, we'll do the scalability to cinematic. And uh, if you really want to get even fancier, uh, you can go ahead and you can enable ray tracing, uh, play with the settings and everything. But that's it. That's pretty much it. That was the simpler version. Uh, I spent a little bit more time getting it all fancy, but this is definitely this is the best way to, I think this is the quickest way to do it. Uh, if you guys want to know how to, to get them into the uh, MetaHuman sample project, there's a slightly different method. Um, uh, you could actually do the same thing, but I, I use another folder, another file, and there's I, I just copied and pasted everything that was in there. Um, this is a little faster, and this is the newer method. Um, Faceware is making some changes, uh, doing a big launch today, so it's it's uh, you know the documentation is changing pretty quick. So um, that's why we got to keep on our toes. But it's amazing. Give it a shot. Share your stuff. Let me know how everything goes. And thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have a great week. Yeah, it's still a week. Okay, cool. <laughs>